If you have no money, no skills, and no experience, then you can make money online with Google Maps. All right, so I found one video in this niche that's not a total scam, link in the description. The gist is you find businesses on Google Maps who clearly need help with their digital marketing efforts. Typical symptoms include lack of a business website, photos, or unclaimed businesses like this one. She then does a great job showing you how to cold call them and sell them on marketing services. The biggest bottleneck in my opinion is browsing through Google Maps to find the businesses to cold call. But we can automate this part using Google Maps data. And I'm gonna show you how in this video, that way your bottleneck is in how quickly you can cold call or outsource that work. If you need help legally scraping Google Maps data, check out the link in the description as we offer the only legal service to do that through the official Google Maps API. For the sake of this video, I'm targeting about 20 of the largest cities in the United States. I plop in their coordinates, put in a query like plumber, and then let Steve C Data scrape this data through the Google Maps API. We're then gonna load the results into Google Sheets, or you can put this into Excel or whichever spreadsheet you'd like to use, and we can see the raw data coming from the Google Maps API. One thing to note about their terms is that you can't reuse this data outside of the Google Cloud service, but here we're only using the data for our own internal private research, so I fail to see how their terms could restrict that use. And if you use our service, you do need to provide your own Google Maps API key and agree to their terms that way. So with our data set of about a thousand businesses, I'm gonna show you how to instantly find unclaimed businesses businesses, those with bad reviews, missing fields, and no websites, we can pitch them the appropriate marketing service. Within our data set, we have the basic fields like name, address, URL, phone number, business website, and we have some very interesting fields here we can use to our advantage. This column here shows a link to the first photo the business has provided. These three cells are blank, meaning these three businesses are unclaimed and we can call them and pitch them our service. Just to verify though, I'm gonna click this link to the official Google Maps website and they are indeed unclaimed and could use some love. I can try this with the next two results and we find that they are indeed unclaimed. So now all I need to do is filter the results to exclude any business with a photo provided in that field. I'm doing this in Google Sheets by setting up a filter. I clear everything and tell it I only want blanks. This will then only show me rows where that field is blank and they're presumed to be unclaimed. I would highly suggest verifying this though for each business before you go ahead and call them as the data may get stale. If they have a website, you can also contact them. That may be easier for introverts like myself. Just click on their website and they typically will have a contact form. Please don't spam. Try to make your message personalized. Like you can use some of the data in your spreadsheet, like include the name and text of the last review they got in their business and say that you can help them with whatever is most relevant. The next type of business we may want to help have negative reviews. So here we just sort the result.rating column in ascending order so we get the lowest rated businesses first. Then we can check out the Google Maps profile and see what's going on with the reviews. You can click on the reviews tab and then sort them by the least positive ones and see what people are complaining about. In this case, it looks like they're pretty old, so they probably just need to get more recent positive reviews. So that's something we can help with if we want to do some sort of automated outreach to their previous customers as a marketing agency. So again, we can either call them or visit their website, reach out on social, or send them a message here with their contact form. Again, try to personalize it and make clear what you can offer with reputation management in this case. Next thing we wanna look for are businesses with missing fields. So for example, operating hours are very important for SEO. Google wants to show businesses that are open when users search for them. So we can click on this one here and see that unfortunately it's already claimed, but they don't have their hours added. So we may wanna reach out to this person and say, hey, we can double your organic traffic if we help you update your Google My Business profile. This one could also use some reputation management maybe because customers kept showing up when they were closed. And our last type of business we wanna look for are those with missing websites, especially if you're a digital web design or development agency and you wanna pitch them on getting a website for their business. So I'm gonna add another filter here in Google Sheets and this time I only want blanks just like we did earlier in the other example. And now I have a list of businesses who are missing a website. Maybe they have one, they just haven't listed it or maybe they don't have a website at all and we can help them. So we can reach out to these people and sell them on our awesome web development services. And here's your bonus for watching until the end. One thing you may find are these businesses that look so bad, you wanna make sure they actually exist. So this one almost looks fake. I mean, there's very poor reviews and the photo is of a tree. I mean, you see some construction going on, but if you scroll all the way down, the last photo is typically of street view and you can zoom in and confirm that the business sign does match what the listing says. So you may wanna call them at the very least, but you do know that there's some evidence that they did at one point in time exist. So just double check before you reach out to these people. Thanks for watching until the end. Make sure to check out the link in the description so you can scrape Google Maps data legally for free up to 10 rows daily.